How do you feel? You just gave a TED talk. I, I feel really like high right now. It's like it's, uh, it's a it good could be feeling. the champagne, but I think it's mostly the adrenaline. It could also be champagne. <laughs> Good morning, it is December 5th, I'm Jackson Bird, and this is Vlogmas. We are back home, it is back to a normal-ish schedule, whatever normal is when you're in the middle of moving and don't have a typical job. Today is a pretty packed day, I am about to go to the doctor, and then after that I'm gonna hit up TED, where I'm gonna go see the current TED residence TED Talks. After that I've got some errands to run for the holidays, and then I gotta work on catching up on Vlogmas, because. We got a weird schedule going on. That vacation was, that was, that was hard to do Vlogmas on vacation. I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, the TED residency program and the TED Talks thing that I'm going to once I get to TED. But for now, let's head out to the doctor. This is quite different weather than it was in Orlando. <laughs> Yesterday it actually got kind of cold in Orlando, but ooh, park days it was like high 80s. All right, doctor appointment done. Onwards to Ted. favorite parts of Ted, their giant collection of webbies. All right, the talks all are over. They were all amazing, especially this kid. Savannah just gave an amazing talk about Chasing Amy and queer representation and your life story. It was so good. How do you feel? You just gave a TED talk. I, I feel really like high right now. It's like it's a, it's a It good could be feeling. the champagne, but I think it's mostly the adrenaline. It could also be champagne. <laughs> My mini bottle that I brought specially for this. Well, congratulations on your talk. Thanks, I can't wait until it's up. Once it's up, I'll show it to all of you. Um, but also, you've got, well, first of all, your dad. Yeah. Plug your dad. My dad is a is a YouTuber. He does is he's modern vintage gamer. He has like 110,000 subscribers he's right like now. Twice as many as he, me. He's he's sick. You should check him out. He's a cool dude. I'll put a card to that. But yeah. then also, um, uh, Savannah's a filmmaker. Does a lot of really amazing stuff. Where where can we like find some of your stuff? SavannahRogers.com is that like easy. the best way. And uh, I'm on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and whatever. So cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations again on your talk. Thanks, buddy. Woo! Woo! This is this. I'm just gonna show you the office. This is where I used to work, and my forehead. And whose lion is that? I have to ask. I love this lion. It's a new addition. It's right there. She's on the Oh, right. She gave an amazing talk about design and wildlife conservation. It was sick. Man, when all these talks drop, they're going to be amazing. They were just so, so good. All right, so now that I've been enlightened by all of those amazing talks and had the time to catch up with some old friends, it is back to errand running. Apparently, since I worked down at that office, there's now a Trader Joe's around the corner, and uh, I've been needing to go to Trader Joe's to pick up some holiday party supplies. So that is where we are going next. All right, success. And oh my god, that was the emptiest Trader Joe's I've ever seen in my life. They were fully stocked, had all this new stuff, didn't even have to wait in line. Usually the line goes like out the door at the other Trader Joe's, so that was pretty cool. Next stop is Soccer Bit, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong. It is a Swedish candy store where I have to go every year to pick up uh, some Glug, which is Swedish mold wine, and Yulmust, which is a Swedish Christmas soda. Um, they are things that I just like to have at Christmas, but also that I promise people I will have at my holiday party. I don't know that anyone enjoys the fact that I have them there, except for me, but I still gotta do it.
All right, back, got the glug, got the yulmist. Probably pronouncing both of those wrong. If anyone watching this is Swedish and wants to tell me how to pronounce those, please do. Uh, you'll see more of both of those on Saturday when we host our holiday party. Before I go today, I just want to talk about um, a couple of things that happened today that I forgot to elaborate on. First, you saw there just a minute ago the big Captain America shield, and then maybe if you've got eagle eyes, you spotted the sign that said set. So I live in New York City. There are often things being filmed on the, the streets as you walk by. Uh, and this one had a code name. I think it's a code name. It said Power S6. I don't know what it was. Pretty sure the Captain America shield didn't actually have anything to do with it, but I'm gonna pretend that it was some Avengers movie being shot. A Little bit more information on the TED residency program. So what I went to today was the uh, salon, the presentation of talks by the current TED residency class. So this is something that I did back in 2017. If you want to learn more about my experience there, you can click on that card there, see the video that I made about it, which does link to my TED Talk, which I gave, which you could watch on TED.com or on YouTube or wherever. A uh, fun fact, if you watch it on YouTube, it is in the top five most disliked TED Talks on YouTube. Yay being trans. Other than on YouTube, it's gotten a great reception and it was a really awesome opportunity. So the TED Residency is this opportunity um, for anyone, artists, entrepreneurs, activists, probably 18 plus, I think you have to be at least 18, but Apart from that, all ages, they've had uh, newly graduated high schoolers all the way up to entrepreneurs in their 70s. And what it is is 14 weeks working in TED's offices, TED headquarters in New York City. You get your own desk space, you get to be part of the TED community, and you sort of work on what your great idea is for 14 weeks. And then at the end of it, you give a talk on your idea or something that you are an expert on, something that, that you, only you can talk about as all TED Talks kind of are. And it's really cool because you get to spend that 14 weeks actually crafting your talk with TED. Like most TED speakers at TED conferences or TED fellows, they get a couple of opportunities of coaching from TED speaking coaches, but we were actually there for 14 weeks getting feedback from people at all levels of TED, including the actual heads of TED who were there in the audience of our talks. So it was a pretty amazing opportunity. Um, and more than all of that, you become part of this awesome like networking community. And as the residency classes continue to go, we all come back to support them when they give their talks or when they first come in. We have like parties and get togethers all the time. Uh, and it's just so many amazing people who are very well connected and have incredible ideas all the time and are just like good humans. So it's an amazing thing. I've turned this into an ad for the TED residency when I was just meeting to explain it, which I think speaks for itself of how cool it is. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, by the way, applications are open for the spring class. They're open until Monday. You can go to ted.com slash residency. Basically, if you have a good idea and you are able to live in New York for 14 weeks in the spring, there's no money involved in this, then you should apply. Last thing about today, the outing that you saw me take that I wanted to talk about was the doctor's office. Um, I did not go because I have a cold. I just straight up have a cold. I mean, we did talk about that a little bit because I've been getting colds a lot, especially since I work from home. I mean, I know I travel a lot, but like, it seems weird that I should get colds as often as I do. So we're gonna watch that, see if there's a reason for it. But the reason that I was actually at the doctor uh, was just to check my T levels. If you are on hormone replacement therapy, it's definitely a good idea a couple of times a year, at least once a year, to be checking your hormone levels and, you know, all your other things with your body, with your doctor, uh, just to make sure that everything is going okay, see if you need to decrease or increase your dosage. For me, it's a very positive experience, but it was hits and misses before I found a primary care physician who I was comfortable with and, you know, who was good at treating transgender clients. It's a, it's a whole thing that I could make a proper Jackson Bird trans education video on sometime. But for now, I just wanted to explain what I was doing there, since this is all about showing you little parts of my life, and to encourage all of you who might be on hormones to be checking your levels with your doctor if you are not already. <sighs> and I guess that is all that I'll say for now. Looking forward to sticking around home and catching up on a lot of stuff tomorrow, which I'm sure will make for great content for Vlogmas. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.